Okay, getting back to this thing. I don't have much time because I've been fighting AT&T with my internet all day and I'm a little frustrated. But anyway, on his gun, okay, here. Uh, I hope to show you how to do this, but if I don't have time, anyway. Uh, these guns aren't that hard to do. You just need to cut you out a blank like this and then, uh, you know, more or less shape them. And then I put a peg in the back to mount it on onto the body and then I'll glue that there onto the body when it's done and painted and everything. And believe me, it'll stay there forever. Okay, since, since making this gun, yesterday I decided to give him a cavalry gun. By that I mean one of these. Now you go on the internet and you can find find these pictures. That's where I got them. Here's sort of a modified version up here, which is nice. I've done that one before. But the, if you did this one here, it makes it a little easier to carve. And it's still, even though it's all the details covered up, it's still got some nice detail. See, there's the uh, hammer, and back here is the handle. You got a little tab here which holds the flap down and uh, it just goes right in that slot. I kind of had to widen, widen this area out down here and rearrange my hole up there to get it there but it looks it looks interesting because it's not something you normally see. I uh, went yesterday I went and cut the blank for my uh, right arm which is over here. We're going to be starting that pretty quick but today I thought what we'd do is work on the bullets. Now, I had some extra material on my piece, so I went and I put some little bullets up front here on his belt just to fill the area up. And uh, so now I'm going to make the bullets for the back here. Let me get this off of here. Well, I'll just leave it on there if I don't want to come off too easy. Okay. Pencil, pencil. Told you it's a madhouse around here today. I had to go all the way to Dallas, Texas to get my internet straightened out. Okay. So, just to, uh, Judy says, yeah. Just sort of draw your separations on the back here where your bullets will go. Well, this one might be a little short. We'll see what happens when we get there. And then just take your V in like that. As you go across, you can readjust your bullets to the line. as you go across. That's why, you know, don't depend on those pencil marks to, to be the determining factor when you carve these things. Looks like we're going to come out just about right. Yeah, right on the button. How's that for planning? Low power. Okay. Then here, just make a V. V. Make a little angled cut on each side of the bullet. I just do it all one way. Okay. All right. We uh, ground to all yesterday because my phone ran out of juice. So we'll pick this up. Anyway, I was carving along here after you get the slits made like this. Then it's just a matter of coming back and matching them up. The slits go in the opposite direction. And kind of clean them up. I 
things. You want them all looking pretty much the same. And then I'd shave off a little tip of them, each bullet like this, because the end of the bullet is round. Just a little wedge off the end of each tip, like that. Check them out real close that you've got every, everything in order and if you see a real sharp point, kind of cut that off so it maintains that round look. that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn on my burner, burning pin, and all the kinks out of the wire. You can see this is the tip I use. See that? I use that tip for everything. And then we'll just outline them here. stinks according to Judy. Probably even my carvings. Like that. Then come across the back here. Very lightly. You don't want to go overboard for with the burning. Like that. And then, when the bullet goes into the little loop, if I can find a picture here. And you can see the loops there. There's a good one. When the bullet goes into the loop, you can see that the bullet is held in place by the rim on the back of the bullet right there. So that's what you want to show. And then the part with the lead protrudes from the front. Well, this one shows some of the brass casing here, but we're not going to worry about that. We're only interested in the, the lead part, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark, go across here, and just make a little mark. at the top of each bullet, like that. Then we'll go down and we'll make a mark at the bottom. And just do the same thing.
this off. Now, to finish it up, I'm going to take it over to the flap sander. I'm going to sand this real good, and this will give me a rounded appearance, like up here on the front. All right. All right, so here's my flap sander. Here's my pattern I'm using for my arm. Again, all I did to keep this pattern was after I drew it onto the wood and cut out the blank, I just sliced off the thin piece, and that gives me a good pattern to keep and use over and over again. And uh, when I did this, I left lots of room for my hand because he's going to be holding a lariat, so he needs that he needs that space for the lariat to go through. And I left lots of room up here at the very top of the shoulder because I want this shoulder to have plenty of material to where when it mats, matches up against this one up here, you know, I can, I can cut it off. Uh, his arm will hang a person carrying a lariat. A lariat has weight. It doesn't have a lot of weight, but it has weight. So that pulls down on his arm. So his arm's not going to be stuck out here. It's going to be hanging down to the side. And I found a picture in here, <laughs> kind of a funny one. I don't know what self-respecting cowboy would ever show up wearing a shirt like that. But anyway, you can see his hand is, even this one over here holding the blanket, it about hits his uh, mid, uh, mid leg up here, about halfway between the hip and the knee, okay? And that's just about where our guy hits. He's got a little more bend to his arm there. So we'll position this arm about right there. So holding that in place, bringing it back around, I can take my pencil now and I can draw, draw around this. Give me the area that I can cut off. Let me look at this one more time here. So anyway, in the next video we'll go into carving this arm and uh, doing the hand and everything, okay? So until then I'll talk to you later.